What's up everybody, this is Tuba Solo coming at you. So I've got the trekker set up right now in the yard. I just missed a humongous system that came through that had a bunch of hail. But uh, I spoke to my buddy Matt from Lead Me Outdoors and he told me that another system is supposed to be coming through here pretty soon. It's starting to darken up again with the, uh, with the clouds here. Hopefully we'll get some hail again and we can get a little bit more data here on the Skyscape Trekker. Now you know that the Skyscape Trekker went through a Sierra thunderstorm and it did marvelously well. I was really quite pleased with how well it, uh, how well it worked in that situation. So we'll go ahead and give this thing a go. Hopefully we'll catch some, uh, some good footage and see how the Trekker holds up in a good, uh, good rainstorm, possible hailstorm. Now for you eagle-eyed viewers, you'll know that this particular model of Skyscape Trekker is the um, older version. It's kind of that, that lighter green uh, version of the tent. Uh, still a really cool version, but if you haven't seen the latest version of the Skyscape Trekker, they're doing it in like a, a dark green. I mean, it looks absolutely gorgeous, uh, that dark green. I really, really am hoping to, to maybe pick up another one of these Trekker tents once all this stuff is over and use that one as uh, as one of my primary tents because yeah that that dark green looks looks absolutely beautiful it's starting to get a little bit windier here and <laughs> things are starting to get dark so it looks like we may get our system yet so one other thing that i wanted to point out too is that i'm using a poly cryo sheet or poly crow sheet underneath um, to keep any water from the bottom coming up um, i need to adjust that thing right there it looks like it's sticking out just a just a touch under the uh the vestibule there but yeah I am going to be using a poly uh, poly crow sheet underneath the tent so that's just one thing to remember uh, when we come back and see um, the uh, you know I don't want to say the word damage but then once we see what the rain has done to the tent um, you know needless to say I, I would imagine there's no water that's gonna come up underneath uh, in any way shape or form I just stepped in a gigantic puddle <laughs> My socks are completely wet. My shoes are completely wet. I'm wearing some Crocs out here. So needless to say, <laughs> the water went all the way through without, uh, without any, anything blocking it. So yeah, again, there is the Skyscape Trekker. This is the one that I've been using for the last year. And uh, it has done exceptionally well for me. I am very, very happy with the results that I've been getting out of this trekker so far. I think you'll see that in my part five video uh, when it finally drops. I'm really glad that I waited to, to do part five and I didn't jump the gun and I've had this in so many situations now at this point that really I feel like I've, uh, I've reached a point that I can make a pretty fair assessment on this tent. That second system finally came in. It is really coming down right now. We haven't gotten any hail yet. Um, which is fine, um, but yeah, I mean, it's really, really coming down pretty hard. I'm, I'm actually quite surprised at how, how much rain is actually coming down right now. But uh, yeah, Trekkers out there doing great so far. We're gonna go ahead and see how everything uh, fares after this good shower. This system that's coming through is pretty sizable. And uh, it's making for a pretty, pretty interesting experiment out here. Well, it's been coming down now for a pretty good consistent half an hour and the Skyscape Trekker is still out here. I was inside the house, I was cutting uh, some video from earlier when the rain was coming through and I heard some thunder, so we may still get our hailstorm yet, but I don't know. We'll see what happens. I mean, the water is pooling up like crazy, so there is, there is tons, of, uh, tons of rain right now. You can see there. So the ground is well saturated, obviously. We've been getting a heck of a lot of rain here. Hopefully we'll get some, uh, we'll actually get some hail. So, should be pretty interesting. I'll keep you guys posted as things, uh, things move along. And now we're starting to get a little bit of wind and a little bit more, uh, more rain. There we go, you kind of see a tent flapping, woo! Holy moly, it's starting to come down now. It's cold out here too, California. This is cold. I'm under a I'm under a patio right now, and I can I can feel the rain hitting my face. Like that's how how badly it's driving right now. The rain. But yeah, that that tent is getting a a serious testing right now. Good stuff, loving it. 
Alrighty, so the rain has kind of subsided here. And uh, well, the tent obviously is still standing, so that's a positive. But uh, yeah, I mean, you can, you can just take a look at how much rain fell. I mean, that's completely soaked the ground over there. But uh, we'll go ahead and open this up and see what we got on the inside. Okay, so I'm just gonna move that over there. And yeah, the inside's bone dry. Absolutely no concerns. Despite how much rain came down, the, uh, the tent held out just fine. You can probably tighten these guys up a little bit. So yeah, there's definitely some play there. I don't think that's from, from opening the door necessarily. I think it's just as I was sitting here. So let's go ahead and close this guy back up. Uh, there we go. And uh, yeah. Six Moon Design, Skyscape Trekker. Did a great job in the rain here. I'm gonna leave it, uh, I'm gonna leave it up. We'll see what happens the rest of the day here. Looks like we're starting to get some, some bluer skies up there. And, uh, but yeah, man, it is cold and it is breezy. And I'm getting back in the house. <laughs> so I'll see you guys later. Alrighty, it is raining like crazy again. Wow. It was really coming down. Just a second ago, it took me took me a second to grab the camera, but boy, is it ever coming down. Um, we still haven't gotten hail yet, which is kind of a bummer. But again, the Skyship Trekker has been sitting out there for for hours now at this point, and it's just been rained on like crazy. And there it is, doing great. Six Moon Design Skyscape Trekker. That's one heck of a good shelter right there, everyone.